Hey all, Russ here, RVR TV. Welcome. Check it out. We're exiting off I-90. This is exit 192. It's a little town called Murdo. Murdo, South Dakota. And guess what? It's got this Pioneer Auto Museum. This thing's been on TV. It was on that... Uh, Pickers, American Pickers program. And it has, uh, I guess, uh, just a world-class auto everything museum. We're going to go check it out, like, right now. I was uh, told about this at uh, the Riverview RV Park, where I stayed up in Pierre. They go, you got to stop here, because I asked them, hey, what's good to see around here? Here it is on the left. This place is supposed to be massive. So, let me find a place to park. We're going to go check this thing out. Cool. Pioneer Auto, the big show, established in 1954. Cool. Look at the size of this place. Look at all the big signs. Big show. My goodness. Big variety show. The General Lee. Look at that. Dukes of Hazard. Oh man, look at this thing. Need a water fountain. Huh. Now that is funny. My goodness. Alright, well, let's head on in. There's that van from the TV show. It says open. Let's go on in. Yes, sir. Hi. How we doing? We're doing. How about you? Doing fine, sir. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. How are you? All right, we're in. Look at the old Oldsmobile. I guess there's many, many buildings here. So might need to pack a lunch. <laughs> oh boy, wow. Here we go. I love these places. You want to hear the general lady call? Yeah. You recording on that part? Yeah. Nice. Thank you. Well, there you go. <laughs> that guy's a character. Oh, man. Look, a baby carriage with the old car. Look at the signage. Oh, man. 1952. That thing on the window is actually an air conditioner. I know what that is. Got the wood trim on a car. Oh, my goodness. If you're a car buff... Come to Murdo. <laughs> Look at that thing. South Dakota. James Dean. Even though it's hot out, it's not bad in here. They got fans going. Oh, a wooden car. Look at this. An absolute wooden car. <laughs> I wonder. It's got a steering wheel. Oh my good, it's got a real engine in it. Look at that. Jeez, Smokey and the Bandit. Motorcycle. I mean, look at the signage. Thermometers, gas pump. 
little car there. That's one that was at the front opens up. Huh. <laughs> Phone booth. Hugo, parts and service. Man. Talk about a collector. Goodness. Oh, here we go. Look at this. You need a pipe? Look at all the pipes. Dishes, antiques. My goodness. How could you ever keep track of all this stuff? Like scale, old carnival type stuff. Scales. Old time slot machine. Look at all the toy cars. Toy everything. What are those? Tonka? Isn't that what they called those? Tonka toys? Tools hang on the wall. Look at the lawnmower. Old time uh, snowmobile. I mean, wherever they had space, they stuffed something in there or hung it on the wall. My goodness. Cool. <laughs> Sorry, I keep saying it, but I'm overwhelmed here. Just trying to look at this stuff. What do you record first? What do you show? <laughs> it's endless. Wonder if they heat these buildings. I wonder if. Well, they gotta have it open year round. More toy stuff. Little tanker toys, tanker truck toy. Foosball. Pinball. Hmm. You could spend a week in here. Look at the front end of an old Volkswagen Ham's beer behind it oh look at the carnival mirrors there you go <laughs> Oop. my head's missing or something there I'm, I'm upside down <laughs> oh man Minnie Mouse. This is beyond a collection. This is somebody's dream and passion. Lifetime. A lot of these pictures are autographed. To the owner of the place. Hmm. We're still in the first building. There's more buildings to go through. You'd need a team of people to keep track of this stuff. Look at the old Plymouth with the spoiler on the back. Barney Fife. Hey, Barney. Hope he has his bullet. A DeLorean sign. A display of an engine. Look at the little toy airplane. Convertible. 
That'd be a nice old car. There you go. There's your Mustang. Huh. Wonder if they sell any of this stuff. I doubt it. Oh my goodness, look at that roadster. Another wooden car. Look at this. Old time wooden car. Huh. I'll be darn. Guns up on the wall. Look at the size of that thing. That's a cannon. <laughs> but boom Can you imagine pulling the trigger on that thing? Hell, <laughs> heck, I'm wore out just walking through that one. It goes way back in the property back there. More buildings right here. Well, let's keep trucking. <laughs> See what else we're going to find. I'm sure it's going to be a surprise. Those old Pepsi machines, remember them? Green grass, too. Pretty good. Yeah, I wonder if they heat these buildings let people come in here in the winter. Oh, here we go. Wow. I don't even know what that is. The radiator's hanging off the front of it. Old work trucks. And some old time cars. Old pickups. Willie's Jeep. Toyota, one of the older ones. Dodge. The condition these things are in, too, they're, I'm sure they've been restored, but they're even clean. How'd you like to clean all this stuff? Pretty nice buildings, too. Wherever he had a space, he just parked it. Look there, old-time motorhome. <laughs> there you go. There's your RV. Dark green. That is about dark green as you can get. And just more signage on the walls. Alright, let's keep trucking. Next building. Eight decade room. Okay. There's an old hot rod. Convertible. It's kind of nice. Let's see a Camaro. Convertible. All these must be convertibles in here, huh? Wow. Look at that yellow. Phew. Well, there ain't too many in here. These are really fixed up like a stage. Like they're 1940s. I bet they can shoot a movie in this place. Oh, look at that thing. What is that? Rolls Royce? Hmm. Oh, you guys got to stop here. <laughs> Antique motorcycles, of course. We got through the cars. Now what we have in here? Oh. 
Bingo. Bicycles. Still another antique car. See, I bet wherever he goes, hey, I got space. Let's stick a car in here. <laughs> Old motorcycles. Danger, no smoking. Just everything and anything you could think of. And it's old and it, see this is history. He's saving history right here. Absolutely saving history. Those are some old timers. Even a little mini bike. Indian motorcycles. Then he's got Harley. The old time scooters. Imagine just trying to keep track of the tires, keeping them aired up. Look at that old sidecar there. There's an old, the old leather helmets. That's how they used to protect themselves as much as they could. Bicycle built for two. 36 Harley. Oh my goodness, what's this thing? Look at that. Here's a stagecoach that's built into a motorcycle. Stagecoach trike, 1974. Dealers use it for show. I bet they do. That one ought to go to Sturgis, huh? Tiny little tricycle up there for a little kid. <laughs> oh, goodness. They're hanging off the rafters. Well, pretty cool. Antique motorcycle building here at the Pioneer Auto Show. Man, he ain't kidding it's a show. What a collection. Well, that one's in a case. It's got to be valuable. I think everything here is valuable. Truthfully, I think a collection like this could probably... How would you ever price it? It's priceless. You can never replace this stuff. Hey, Elvis is in the house. There's his jukebox or whatever it is. All right, what do you say? Let's go wander around outside some more. You could literally spend weeks in here going through all this stuff. Well, that looks like most of the buildings out here. Old gas pumps. They're all numbered. General Lee, we've seen that. Little wood shop, all the tools. Yeah, they got fans in most of the buildings, so you know it's hot. It, it's not bad. I bet he's got a big staff taking care of all this stuff. Plus, they got a restaurant here. Big gift shop, restaurant.
Well, nothing like having your own train depot here. Western Union Station. Probably the original seating. <laughs> Everything train. Look at that. Seats out of a train. Pot belly stove. Talk about movie props if you ever shoot in a movie. Oh my goodness. This guy would have it. Ticket office with the big bars on it. Player pianos. This all the antiques, all the bottles, phonographs, barber shop, dental office. Back in the day, they claimed barbers were dentists too. They were the local place to go get fixed up. Need a stove? Look at them all. Hmm. Just everywhere. Well, take a pick. We'll just zigzag back and forth, huh? Till we get to the end. Am I going one of these? I'm shocked. Oh boy. <laughs> How colorful. If you're a photographer, this is a photographer's dream to come in and shoot these vehicles. Look at that, even a sign up there, Burns Motor Sales. I mean, they're everywhere. <laughs> and they're clean. For being out in these buildings like this, they must clean them off. Probably have almost daily with all the wind. All got license plates. Still got air in the tires. Oh, I like that one. Look at that. And that blue. And we're walking. <laughs> Number 19 here. Oh, here you go. Pioneer Auto Sales. Yeah, I wonder if they sell them. I doubt it. Most of these museums won't. They collect. They want more. Where would you ever see something like that that's original? Hard to find. Very hard to find. Oh! Oh no, there's an empty spot. Maybe he did sell one. There's one of those solar cars, all one big solar panel. I've seen those before. Look at the front end on that. Incredible. Looks like, well, there's a gas station all set up. Looks like these buildings here, look at the tractors. Need a tractor? He's got everything else here. Covered wagons. Farm equipment.
cars stuffed back in here. So the good stuff's in the other. Oh, look at the size of that. That's one of them steam tractors. We got to see that thing. We're getting near the back of the property here. Look at the size. <laughs> it's sunk in the ground, it's so heavy. That thing is humongous. Imagine that thing running. Oh man, I bet that makes some racket. Thirty to sixty horsepower. Old time wagon there. Just more stuff. Never seen anything like this in my life. And I've been to a lot of museums. I think we're at the back of the property, building 22. Yep, there's the back gate. Corky's Auto Supply. You just need a team of people running around buying this stuff. There's no way one guy could do all this. Every car has its place. These ones are really packed in here. Wonder how many hundreds of cars they got. Old Volkswagen. Maybe they start back here and work their way up front in the collection. You gotta have titles on all this stuff. Still gotta license them, even though they're sitting. I mean, they're all antiques. Not sure how all that works. Kind of like the way he laid out the colors. I mean, every other car is just a different color. Makes the other ones really stand out. Chevrolet. Well, that's a new one there. Look at that thing. That's no old car. Probably somebody's personal car gets to drive it. I was like, come in here every day and say, oh, I'll take this one home. <laughs> When you think you're done, you're not. That's them old uh, Ford Etzels. I've seen those front ends before. That's all rusted up. They probably got people that restore them. Absolutely amazing. Well, we're getting at the end of it, it looks like, I think. I keep saying that, but <laughs> every building, there's more. <laughs> that thing's seen its day. That's tiny. Look at the orange. Yuck. Old Corvair, I know what those cars are. The front ends on those big cars, the big bumpers and grills, they don't make them like that anymore. Of course, you need a boat motor, antique boat motor collection. 
air compressor collection. There is nothing that this guy hasn't collected. here did I miss anything I don't think so that's the train depot what what fire trucks silly me why wasn't I thinking where's the fire trucks at oh they're right here oh man <laughs> okay now I think we got it maybe don't know. <laughs> We're in there. Milk cans. It says exit. Cafe and gift shop. Let's go check it out. everything you can think of in here but this isn't antiques they got their t-shirts and hats now those signs would be cool bet a lot of people buy those games puzzles postcards a few knickknacks some of the older stuff not bad I'm sure their food's good too. Very good. Yeah, that's from that TV show, that van there. But who would ever think a little town, I mean, population here can't be that much, a little town like Murdo. South Dakota has an auto museum. That's beyond an auto museum. I mean, you've seen it. There's everything under the sun that, that these people have collected. The sign said 1954, so they've been collecting for 70 years. Probably the families through the generations are keeping it going. But if you get a chance got to come here to Murdo, South Dakota. There's a couple RV parks. Motels, you can stay here. Looks like restaurants. Gas stations. Exit 192 off I-90. My goodness. But you know what? The journey continues. Talk soon.